Well, new tonight, the nonprofit Rescue Alliance is having a harder time rescuing animals since its transport van broke down last year. The group has an opportunity to replace it, but it means leaning into funding in a difficult time of the year. News 2's Gabby Davis is live in the newsroom with more. Gabby. Mia, a donor has offered to match the group's donations toward the purchase of a replacement vehicle, but the deadline is quickly approaching and members are concerned they won't be able to make it happen and that it makes it even more complicated to get animals into safe, loving homes. Jonathan Henriquez says Rescue Alliance gets around 10 to 17 calls a day. Not having a transport vehicle has put the group in a bind. We have to be able to respond immediately because sometimes we get calls from some of the shelters and they give us a day or two's notice, so we have to struggle to try to actually find a transporter to bring them to us. The donor's offer to match donations to help the group buy a new van is good until December 31st. We would literally have to raise about at least $11,000 in, in pretty much a little bit over a month. Right now we're at about $900. In the meantime, They've been relying on volunteers to help out. They use their, a lot of times their own gas money, their own vehicles to help us transport cats from shelters. Unfortunately, we're limited on how much transporting we can do. We continue to try to reach out to more people to try to find more volunteers to step up to do the transport. But on a Friday, trying to find somebody afternoon, it's pretty much difficult. Henrique says the group will keep looking for help so they can keep helping the animals in need. Live in the newsroom, Gabby Davis, WBRZ News 2.